Jalen Rose said it best. Nobody should be buying. Everybody should be leasing and renting. Mm -hmm. No one should plan on being in Cleveland. You look like a disgrace right yeah. now. It's just that bad. It's just that bad. I mean, you you, you get to the point where, I mean, what, what would LeBron be thinking about if he thought about going back to this? All right, so it's bad. Now, with that being said, obviously that puts Miami in the thick of things. Yeah. But remember, you have several things going on here. You've got Carmelo, an impending free agency. Mm -hmm. You've got the Bulls who can amnesty booze and get rid of Mike Dunleavy Jr. You've got the – and when you talk about the Clippers, even though you can't definitively rule out something, the bottom line is, is that you would need help from the yep. Lakers in order to make it happen. Now, if you know you're going to lose LeBron and – the Clippers and the, and, and, and the Miami Heat, as they wrote in the article, that they would be asking for a Blake Griffin. Yes. And if, it, sign if, trade. if you're LeBron, are you going to L.A. just to play with Chris Paul? Don't you want Blake Griffin right. there, too? Package, yeah. You see what I'm saying? And so it, 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 I don't want to say it's impossible because anything's possible with LeBron. It's slim. But I think the important thing to point out, and I've mentioned this on many occasions in the past, you got to take a moment to give LeBron credit and understand the impact of what he has done. Yeah, the decision was disastrous in terms of how it was handled. Yep. But in terms of him keeping an open mind and keeping his options open, he's changed the landscape of a free agency in the NBA for stars for years and years and years to come. Because now all of a sudden you don't have everybody just looking for the money grab. Mm -hmm. They're looking for ideal circumstances. They're looking for the ability to create the kind of working environment yep. that they want to be in for years. This is what they're doing. And more importantly, it's challenging the executives under the new collective bargaining agreement to really step out, show some innovation, show a willingness and an ability to plan and calculate and orchestrate which is what they're supposed to be doing, as opposed to leaving yep. the players at the mercy of just trying to get whatever money that they can get. LeBron James is showing you that you can create oppor ideal opportunities for yourself, not just because he got the money, but he took a little less, so D Chris Bosch could take a little less, sure. Dwayne Wade could take a little less, and they could all be together. Now you're finding guys that are looking for the ideal environments to be in. So their relationships with one another resonate just as profoundly as the skill set that they have. And not just a relationship in terms of friendship, not just a relationship on the court, but a relationship in the business environment. Because if you are friends and you get along and you're both stars and your teammates, all of a sudden it it elevates the marketability of your franchise yep. and it elevates the marketability of the individuals. And then you're talking about a collaborative effort on a part of these players that's going to resonate in a fashion where guys want to come to them getting business advice. It's going to facilitate guys acting better in certain ways because they understand that it's monetarily beneficial to them. It elevates their level of behavior in terms of how they conduct themselves, their business acumen mm -hmm. in corporate America, how they can be pitchmen, ambassadors, sponsors, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. These guys are taking this to an entirely sure. different level. And the ringleader for it all appears to be LeBron, and to some degree it is, but the Shaqs and the Kobe's of the world, and of course an MJ of the world, yeah. pretty much ignited it. And LeBron is just taking it to another level. So mm -hmm. I don't want to rule out anything. Yeah. It's all possible because of the L.A. market, sure. because of the fact that they're <laughs> selling out the Staples Center, sure. because of the combination of that and the Lakers being an absolute abject joke under the Jim Buss stewardship. All of these things contribute to it. Yeah. But I still find it hard to believe that somehow, some way, the great Pat Riley Doesn't will matter. lose out. Even if it's Doc Rivers and Chris Paul, I find it hard to believe that Pat Riley is going to lose in all this. Anything's possible. Yep. I just find it hard to believe. Okay. I had two very enlightened takeaways from reading this article. Sure. Brian Windhorst drove home a point that had eluded me, and that is that four years ago, when this first started to transpire, nobody thought that the great, even the great Pat Riley could pull off landing LeBron, Bosch, and, and having Dwayne Wade. 
because it seemed impossible. It took a series that I had forgotten of sign and trade, sign and trade, sign and trade to align all the dominoes so they could all fall Pat Riley's way in Miami. Yep. And his point is, with the sign and trade possibility, LeBron could go anywhere, anywhere. All, you know, every team has a shot options. to pull out 30 options. Now, as soon as I read his CP3 scenario, I thought, wow, that makes some sense to me that I hadn't thought about. Because as you well know, they are very close. In, in fact, you could I make a you. case yeah. that outside of D. Wade, this is his closest friend in the well, league, right? Chris Paul, I mean, is maybe his son Bryce is that's, Godfather. That's what I'm saying. So you, you could even make a case they might even be a little closer than LeBron and Dwayne Wade are. You could make that case. Mm -hmm. okay. You don't think that LeBron James ultimately in his career would love to play for Doc Rivers? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, is there nothing but deep respect there? Nothing but okay? deep respect. Okay, so I'm, do, I'm just doing the hypothetical. What if the Heat somehow get past the Pacers? So, well, let's just do the hypothetical. They win another ring. And LeBron says, Dwayne, your knees are, are failing. I, I don't trust it. And Dwayne says, you know what? You got to do what you got to do. We had a great run here. Mm -hmm. Pick and choose. That discussion has already happened. Okay. Well, I, and do you think it's over? Because no, I'm saying I, that D. Wade understands. Sure. That okay. I, I'm with does, you. I, he absolutely. Okay. So. Now it's time for LeBron to be happy. Like it, the, the original goal was, I gotta go, I, I'm in quest of a ring. I got to join D. Wade and Bosch to, to win a ring, just one ring. What if he has three and he says, you know what? Since high school, I wanted to play with Chris Paul.